Hi everyone, Felix here at Gartney's and I'm here in our research farm looking at the thornless blackberry and I want to talk a little bit about just some basic pruning here in the early season, late winter, early spring. And you can look, we've got a crown where we planted the blackberry and we've got a number of nice healthy canes initiating and we have a couple that have, you know, died back. You can tell here if you look at the color on this cane, this one here is this brown and if you see that brown you can always scrape it a little bit make sure there's no green. But this nice purplish color is really what you're after. That tells you you have a vibrant cane going there. So we want to trim out this one that had a little dieback. Here's another one. This was actually a fruiting shoot from last year. So that's finished up. So for pruning these, there's some a little bit of dieback that needs to come out. And then if you follow these canes on up, each one of these buds that are behind last year's leaf petiole is where you're going to get a fruiting shoot this growing season. So really you want those trained where they can be tied to some wire or to your fence, wherever, whatever you're growing them on, you want to tie those up. That way they can be supported for that fruit load. A lot of these blackberries, these thornless types like Triple Crown, they'll bear pounds of fruit. I mean, you can get 15, 20, 25 pounds of fruit. The University of Kentucky had a yield on Triple Crown of 25 pounds off of one crown. So you can really get some weight. So you need to support these canes because they're not where they can bear that weight. You need to have them tied up on something that will help support that fruit load. But each one of these pods here is going to send out a shoot, typically similar to what we just saw here in last year's growth. This is what you should come, this came out of one of those buds. There's a shoot like this and then it bears at the tip. You can see your cluster here on last year's growth that was at the tip of that shoot. So each one of these buds is going to, is capable of sending out one of those fruiting shoots. And that's really what you want to consider when you prune this, is that you have support and that there's a nice distribution where you get sunlight to those buds for good fruit and sugar development, so they're nice and sweet. And that's really all there is to it. Thanks for joining us here today. And look for our follow-up videos with blackberries on how to manage and pick those fruit later in the summer.